Tips for engaging with parents and caregivers. When you notice a child is having difficulties in the classroom, one of the most important things you can do as an educator is to engage with their parents or caregivers. During these initial conversations, we do not recommend that you use terms like FASD or neurodevelopmental disabilities, as these conditions should be diagnosed by health professionals. Instead, the aim is to work together to ensure the child gets the support they need in the classroom. The earlier a student receives appropriate support in the classroom, the better their long-term outcomes. In this video, we'll provide you with some tips for these initial conversations. Listen with empathy and respect to gain an understanding of the child's background. Parents and caregivers report that being listened to and heard by educators, as well as being involved in their child's education, is incredibly helpful in ensuring their child's success at school. When communicating with parents or caregivers to gain an understanding of the child's background, it is important to remember that caring for a child with a disability has a multi-dimensional impact on caregiver and family functioning. Daily activities can take increased time and effort, and caregivers often experience high levels of stress and worry. In some cases, families may be experiencing trauma in an ongoing or intergenerational manner. It's important to keep these points in mind when communicating with parents or caregivers. Take a strengths-based approach. It's important to focus on a student's strengths in the school environment instead of the difficulties they are experiencing. A strengths-based approach benefits parents or caregivers by promoting an optimistic outlook, reducing stress and worry, and helping families to engage in healthier coping strategies. It also has a range of positive outcomes for the student, including increases in competence, academic achievement, and quality of life. Implement strategies supported by input and communication with parents and caregivers. Implementing evidence-based strategies that are consistent between school and home is very important for successful outcomes for students with FASD. Ongoing input from and communication with parents and caregivers is crucial for promoting consistent educational and behavioural practices across settings. Some helpful strategies that could be implemented include maintaining a stable and consistent routine, adapting communication styles to be short, concrete and simple, Repetition and positive reinforcement. Learning triggers to avoid meltdowns. So, when engaging the parents or caregivers of a child that is having difficulty in the classroom, remember to, one, listen with empathy and respect. Two, take a strengths-based approach. Three, implement strategies supported by input from parents and caregivers.